Hey, hello everyone. This is uh, my next video on the production of the Ultimate Pedal Board, otherwise known as the Pedal Board from Hell, since this is about version 4 that I'm working on so far. Um, I'm sorry, I apologize for the handheld stuff here, but I don't have any other way of doing this video without getting, uh, without and having to pick the pedal board up since it's not actually wired together. If I picked it up, everything would fall off of it. Um, what I am doing is I'm basically got a layout here minus a few new pedals that haven't come in yet um, and how they're going to be arranged on the pedal board, how they're going to be wired up. Um, as far as the audio cables, that'll be all custom cables once I get everything actually wired up, meaning uh, to the board itself and also uh, wired up as far as power or maybe that'll come next after the audio, I have no idea yet. Um, the board itself, if you take a look over here, as you can see my rack for my equipment over here, there's my computer. You'll notice a striking similarity to those shelves to my pedal board. That would be because this is the top shelf of my pedal board. It also has, <coughs> I'm drawing this in the frame here, this very neat footy thing, as you can see here. And this goes underneath where this hole is, and there's my show, shoe. <coughs> it does it fits right underneath here, so it'll lift the pedal board up. Now, if you're wondering why I'm lifting the pedal board up, it is because I'm having to get down on the floor here. So again, pardon all the handheld bad shots. <coughs> here, for instance, is my guitar synth, Roland GR30. And underneath, as you can see, are some pedals. And there's my slicer, which will be up top. That's because these pedals, as in, there's my Gaiatone Sonic Shaper, BBE Frequency Boost, MXR 10 Band EQ, Neo Mistress hidden in there, Sonic um, Sonic Stomp by BBE. These pedals are actually going to be flipped, so the pedal will. Let me see if I can get a smaller pedal. So, for instance, if this pedal were going underneath, which it is going to be going underneath the English Muff over here, it's going to go this way attached, sorry, probably this way attached to the board, so when I pick the board up, I can actually switch this thing up, make any changes, and then just put the board down, it'll be on the bottom, because I don't have to change the pedal settings. So the only pedals that on top are going to be the ones that are too big, like the English Muff, Black Finger, my Behringer Tube Monster, the Flanger Hoax, or over Slicer, over here the Hog, or in this case of these two buggers, because I need to get to them with my foot if I meant to, in order to engage the pedals. The rest of them will all be done through the Rocktron uh, Patchmate, which I have the uh, Patchmate 8.4 version. So, and as you can see, there are several pedals there underneath. Um, there's a chorus that's going to be coming off the Jam Man, which will be underneath this and just be wired through. Uh, over here, on where the Flanger Hoax is on this little shelf, Below it is going to be a mini mixer for all of the synth pedals, uh, which should be outputting into uh, TC Electronic Hall of Fame Reverb. Um, and that's going to be sitting underneath this little shelf, which here will be the Flanger Hoax, and right here will probably be the new uh, EHX Super Ego pedal, which I have not gotten yet. And I'm looking forward to very, very much. Um, I have a couple other pedals that are possibly going to go underneath here. I uh, haven't decided, but as you can see, I've got loads of room because there's nothing underneath these guys. And so my job today, put this back so I can kind of get these back the way I'm thinking. Get up. <clears throat> now here's the uh, aerial view again. I'm going to try to stay very still here. My job today is going to be to see if I can get all of these things wired into place. And I will be doing that with the famous cable ties here in the bag. Just got them. Plus I have two buckets full of short ones. So I'll be using all those. And once I get that done, I'll give a little brief um, view of that. Hey, here's a little addendum so far. This is actually what you're looking at is the bottom of the pedal board. And I've got, for my second time, because I actually put them on the wrong side, so I have to pull them all off and start again. 
this is the bottom here's the gig rig power supply right there uh, with this is the power distributor for the 9 volt and I have another one for 18 volt and so from the top of the board as you can see everything's on the bottom so here's everything ready to go pretty good still got a couple of more things here to apply to the bottom of the board that is my foot right there my foot so as you can see I'm using my right foot not my left foot and um, part of the way through so continuing on